Ever since I heard the mere mention of the name Austin Theory, the one word attached to it was potential. I had heard about him from his evolved days, but that would slowly build up and WWE saw enough in him to make him a signing. Austin Theory's upside was pretty huge. What helped his case was that he had a good grasp on everything and being well-rounded at 22 will always give said talent a lot of attention. Me personally, I didn't see much in him initially. In ring, of course, I thought it was good, but he just didn't have much of a character when he debuted on Raw. That's when I first saw him. He had to grow a character on NXT which worked in his favor, and when he was paired with Johnny Gargano, Theory got to show more of his comedic side and rapidly developing led to his debut on the main roster. He had been on the main roster already, but it was an awkward run. This time around, he had the backing from the boss himself, Mr. McMahon. Theory's character was an entitled youngster who constantly pulled out his phone to flex on others. The Mr. McMahon inclusion was supposed to help him a lot, but at times it felt like he was overpushed, and that's not a good thing, especially for a young talent. It felt like the guy was flying too high and that would become apparent when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. One thing that's positive though about him here is that there was proper direction. Yeah, sometimes he was overpushed, but it felt like there was an end goal with him and that was to make Austin Theory a star. The moment Triple H took control though, everything changed. The preferential treatment McMahon gave him seemed to fade and anytime Austin Theory was around, he looked goofy. Johnny Gargano feud, Roman Reigns making fun of him, and that strong direction he had in the past was gone, and it was never more apparent than the night he failed to cash in money in the bank. What makes this worse, however, is the fact that Theory cashed in on a mid-card title, so not only did he look stupid in this moment, but he was a total loser. They couldn't even have him attempt to cash in on Roman, which was of course explained later on. And thus the current Austin Theory was born. Now I'm not gonna lie, I had high hopes for this version of him, as Kevin Owens earlier on was trying to teach him a lesson and it seemed to have gotten in his head. He dropped the selfie gimmick and had a chip on his shoulder. It was a stark contrast to his old character and no doubt about it, Austin Theory had direction and was slowly evolving before our very eyes. He became the US Champion over the likes of Seth Rounds and Bobby Lashley, which is pretty big. It showed that despite his booking the previous month, it was all about giving his new character a base and go from there. Because Austin Theory was completely different and was a little too serious. There was no problem with his matches, neither his character, but that would change. Heading into the winter and WrestleMania season, Austin Theory was casual. There was absolutely no problem with his character, at least in my opinion, but it was becoming apparent that he didn't have much to offer. What Austin expected to do always comes to pass. His promos were the same old stuff and it's clear that he could talk but something's off. The style of the promos don't come off well with him and the worst was yet to come because his next opponent for the title was John Cena. As you guys may know, this had been a dream match for theories but the poor guy wasn't well equipped for such a challenge. Feuding with Cena at this point in his career requires a lot more because this man was the undisputed number number one in WWE for 10 years and they were basically screwing over Austin Theory. Like as good as this feud could have been for him on paper, it just wasn't gonna go well with the way they booked him. Cena cut deep into him, like a hot knife through butter, he put his character through perspective. He's like, oh, once you take the jacket and sunglasses away, you're generic. And what hurts him is the fact that Cena has all this freedom to embarrass and demoralize him and he just has to stand there and hear that he's 2002 John Cena. Cena even told him regardless of the result, win or lose, Austin Theory won't win exposed the piped in booze and the context behind this promo is even worse because John Cena spoke about it in an interview two months ago and I quote in a room with Austin Theory I said the reason I came back to Boston is because you can't do this yourself yet you cannot carry a Wrestlemania promo yourself yet if you fail we waste the equity that I'm willing to give in that match if I get hurt I hold a production which puts 300 people out of work let's do this right let's get some equity here then you start thinking about the angles what's the most important thing what's our story I don't believe what you do that's what I'm going with Dan that puts things into perspective and makes the scathing and trash talking from Cena even worse because this man wasn't really that focused on having the damn match he was focused on going back to Hollywood because the 300 people are waiting for him there and a big mistake they did with this feud was the lack of promos Theory tried to fire back but Cena was nowhere to be found but it didn't help him at all which is strange because this entire program was designed to make something out of Austin Theory. Like the man is handcuffed and is expected to fight. If WWE knew that John Cena wasn't going to be around, then what was the point of this feud? The match at WrestleMania was extremely disappointing. I had a huge problem with this match due to the stakes, the situation, and of course the talent. Because you expected John Cena to go to work and try to get something from this feud. The entire purpose was to increase Austin Theory's stock. He was the now, the talent to look out for, but this felt like a John Cena match from a random Raw in 2011 and not a good one. The match didn't feel satisfying and did absolutely nothing for Austin Theory. Like, we can blame him here and there. Oh, it's your fault you're in this position and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I cannot personally say I blame Austin theory during this John Cena feud at all. It just came up too early I guess. But yeah the victory did nothing for him. He was the same guy as he was beforehand. Why? Because it wasn't an earned victory. He cheated to win in 10 minutes and it's ironic. The biggest win of his career turned out to be the moment where everything changed for him. 
He lost momentum and hype and to this very day he still hasn't gotten it back. Ever since his move to SmackDown two months ago, this man hasn't stood out at all. And there's no sign of any change, that's the problem. The fact that Austin Theory's character is going nowhere with this generic heel that needs fleshing out. They had a great start with him in November, he took the jokes away, spoke less often and was serious about winning championship gold. Now, he's just there and doesn't have that charm to him, it's as if he's in a role he doesn't belong in. I can't name a memorable promo from Theory after WrestleMania, they just don't care enough to put an effort into his character. And it's like they're moving him forward, but he's trying to find that thing about himself and his character because at the end of the day There's only so much you can do with a character that the wrestler himself isn't into and with the way it's going He needs a lot of time to reassess and potentially give his own input into what can be done because we have seen flashes in the past of Austin Theory He was pretty entertaining in NXT as the goofy guy Yes, it was good as a serious man who had a point to prove earlier in the year But the light is too bright on him at this moment. He was brought up and pushed hard too soon they had to take it slow with him to allow him to understand where he is on the card. WrestleMania with John Cena is a spot a select few head and Austin Theory is far out of his element in that position. Even if Cena came in and did the work, it's tough to say what the outcome would have been. What I mean is, regardless of how Cena came in and put him over, he probably would still be in the same position he is in right now. Because this is an internal problem with the character, it's not a natural change for Theory. And what makes it worse is that he's the fifth longest reigning US champion in the WWE's history. I'm assuming WWE's intention was to give him a Randy Orton-esque title reign, where he'd come out of it ready for a potential world title reign but that isn't even close to materializing with the way things are going right now my personal opinion is that austin theory should lose the title maybe to la knight and regroup he can mix it up comedy become serious but he needs to show more of his personality we saw it in the past he's more than capable of showing actual character not some generic heel who does generic things yeah it's just strange how WWE has booked him recently who knows how things will go in the future but yeah austin theory he's got the tools i personally feel john cena told him that it's just up to him and of course creative to give him a character that suits him well because this whole series thing it feels like he's uh, trying a bit too hard with it so yeah all right originally today's video is supposed to be entirely different it's supposed to be this i was going to talk about some heels of the 2000s why they're crazy they're cracked up they're insane but i had to finish it i don't want to go without uploading on time i kind of hate it so i decided to make this this was actually supposed to be tomorrow's video i wanted to make it a bonus video but i decided to push it for today and focus on this which should come out either tomorrow or after tomorrow hopefully other than that i got a couple of videos in mind you know triple h's first year possibly a SummerSlam pay-per-view, the other side of Ruthless Aggression, I didn't make the thumbnail so you can't see it, obviously. There's a bunch of ideas I have in mind, but yeah, that's why I didn't make that video. I wanted to stay consistent, I thought, why don't we push it forward? Why don't we do the Austin Theory video for today, so yeah. Alright, that's it for this video. What did you guys think of Austin Theory's character change? Please comment down below, that's it for this video. Make sure you hit the rolling dropkick on the like button, or perhaps the ATL on the subscribe button. Peace, I'm out.